Sabah, so, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to take a look at a Bluetooth speaker by a company called Blitzwolf. It's called the Blitzwolf Max 20 watt speaker, and it has 20 watts worth of power to be able to give us a lot of good music playback. We're going to test it out and see how good it is, and I'll let you guys know what I think. This is TK. Let's check it out. The box is pretty simple. I'm not sure if this is gonna be how, if you pick it up for as far as retail, but this is the sample they sent me for review. The model number is BWF4. Let's go ahead and open it up. Pretty much what we have in the box is the main speaker itself, and we'll get into that in a second. Uh, a couple of information booklets, uh, you know, a thank you card and a user manual, pretty basic as far as the configuration. Two cables, a USB cable, USB type A to micro USB to charge the unit, male to male, three and a half millimeter headphone jack to be able to connect uh, non Bluetooth connecting, uh, you know, pieces of uh, devices so that you can play music on this. Uh, the controls on the top are pretty simple. We have answer and as far as play and pause are on the right side. So it does actually have a microphone and supports conference calling, volume down, volume up, and of course skip uh, track back and track forward and then play and pause. An LED indicator telling us whenever the battery is low or also whenever Bluetooth is ready to pair as well as when the battery is obviously charging up. On the back, uh, we have the power button to turn it on. Uh, we have a three, uh, the micro USB connector with a three and a half millimeter headphone jack connection in the back and that's pretty much it. Left side, we don't have anything. We don't have anything on the back. Bottom one, just non-slip grip. And then let's go ahead and press and hold the power button. You'll notice the blue light is turned on and of course we can start pairing it if we're pressing and holding the power. Uh, the other thing I want to mention to you guys as far as control, this is basically uh, running on three different speakers. I hope you guys, and I think this is the angle which will do the best. We have the two main speaker with the uh, passive radiator in the center. We don't have any speakers in the back, so the sound will always going to be facing us whenever you're playing music on this. So I went ahead and paired it up with my iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, of course, you can notice I'm just able to play the music. Play and pause. Uh, the volume on the phone right now is at, oh, let's go ahead and 100%. So you can control the volume on its own. It doesn't actually interfere with the volume over there. I'll go ahead and pause it real quick. Uh, the volume control on the unit is actually independent of what we get. So if you have 100% signal on the actual iPhone, you can still amplify it as it has a built-in amplification. And I'm gonna basically try to see how high we can go and get a good quality sound out of it. Uh, we're gonna keep with this song. Let's go ahead and play. speaker did sound very well as you guys heard uh, it has some really good playback hours uh, supposed to be around 10 hours which is what they advertise and I think that's if you go about 50% or so on volume I like to play it usually around the 75 to 80 90 percent and it usually lasts about seven hours at the maximum uh, I have to say though it just lasts forever in about a week and a half that I've had this I haven't had an opportunity to actually charge it more than twice so it's really good really good sound uh, fills up the room if you need to fill up a room it's very very good let's say thank you very much to blissful for sending me this unit out uh, again 4000 milliamp hour uh, the bank that's inside and it doesn't have passive power so you can't charge other things from it uh, but you do have two 45 millimeter uh, 10 watt speakers that are giving you really good sound with a radiator in the center that basically just give you that nice filling bass sound uh, and again, it's reasonably really priced. I'll give you guys a link in the description below, of course. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much for the support and to Blissful for sending me this unit for review. I'll see you guys in the next video.